This is your Poja News. I'm Logan. And I'm Aiden. Hey students, this week we are celebrating Red Ribbon Week. Do you know why this week is observed in high schools all over the world? Here's a video showing you the history of Red Ribbon Week. We will explore the life of DEA agent Enrique Kiki Camarena through the lens of Google Earth Today, we will visit the many places that Kiki has been throughout his life, starting with where he was born. Kiki Enrique Escamarena was born on July 26, 1947, in Mexicali, Mexico. Affectionately known as Kiki, he moved from Mexicali, Mexico to Calexico, California when he was a young boy. Kiki attended Calexico High School with his classmate, Henry Lozano. During his high school years, he played several sports at Calexico, and he was involved in his community. He graduated from Calexico High School in 1966. In 1968, he joined the U.S. Marine Corps and was stationed in San Diego. After serving in the Marine Corps for two years, Kiki served as a Calexico firefighter, a Calexico police officer, and an Imperial County deputy sheriff. Kiki eventually joined the Drug Enforcement Administration in June of 1974. Kiki married his longtime high school sweetheart, Mika, and they eventually began a family. His first assignment as a special agent with DEA was in a familiar place, Calexico, California. Kiki moved to the Fresno, California office in September 1977. In July of 1981, Kiki transferred to the Guadalajara, Mexico office, where he joined DEA's front lines to combat drug traffickers. His wife, Mika, relocated with him, and they made Guadalajara home. Together, they raised three sons. Kiki worked tirelessly to bring violent drug traffickers to justice. He was inspired to help make this country safe for everyone. During Kiki's investigations, he would record his findings in evidence logs, which eventually led to his next case. In November 1984, Kiki led Mexican authorities in a world record-setting drug raid on Buffalo Ranch, which was a 1,300-acre marijuana plantation with a labor force of 7,000 valued at $2.5 billion. At that time, it was the largest seizure ever, thanks to Kiki's investigation, hard work, and tireless nights. Kiki's investigation of Buffalo Ranch alerted the violent drug cartel of his presence. He was close to uncovering a multi-billion dollar drug ring, a result of four years of hard work. On February 7, 1985, while headed to lunch from the U.S. consulate in Guadalajara to meet his wife Mika, he was abducted in broad daylight. Kiki was just three weeks away from transferring to the U.S. Kiki was tortured for days in a home in Guadalajara and eventually murdered. Drug traffickers Rafael Carro Quintero, Miguel Ángel Felix Guillardo, and Ernesto Fonseca Carrillo were suspected of the kidnapping. A month later, Kiki's body was found. He died at the age 37 with 11 years of service to DEA. He left behind three children and his wife. On March 5th, Kiki Camarena's body was found on a ranch outside of the town of Zamora, Mexico, approximately 60 miles outside of Guadalajara, along with the body of slain Mexican pilot. Autopsy reports indicated that Special Agent Camarena had been tortured and beaten. On March 8, 1985, Kiki's body returned to the United States at Dover Air Force Base in Dover, Delaware. For DEA and the American public, 
the torture and murder of Agent Camarena marked a turning point in the war on drugs. His violent death brought the American public face to face with the vicious brutality of drug trafficking. An investigation, Operation Lienda, legend, was launched to bring to justice those responsible for Kiki's kidnapping, torture, and murder. Because of the investigation, a diamond gun of one of the suspects was identified and later shown in the DEA museum. Operation Lienda continues to this day. This heartbreaking event shaped how we combat drug traffickers and why prevention is vital to this country. Back in Calexico, as a tribute to Kiki and to honor his memory, friend Henry Lozano and Congressman Duncan Hunter supported students in the creation of Camarena Clubs in the Imperial Valley, California. David Dillon, then a teacher, granted Henry Lozano access to the classrooms to recruit and allow youth to attend the rally. The tradition of wearing red ribbons to show support for living drug-free was born. The first club started in Kiki's own high school in Calexico. DEA awarded Kiki the Administrator's Award of Honor, the highest award bestowed by DEA. National Red Ribbon Week was sparked by the murder of DEA Special Agent Enrique Kiki Camarena. Hundreds of Camarena Club members signed the pledge for the commitment to live drug-free lives. Two club members presented the Camarena Club proclamation to then First Lady Nancy Reagan, bringing the proclamation to national attention. President Ronald Reagan greeted Mika at the White House in Washington, D.C. His life for this country, I think that as much as if he went against the war, indeed he was in the midst of the war. In 1988, the National Family Partnership coordinated the first National Red Ribbon Week. To date, Red Ribbon Week continues to be the longest drug awareness campaign where thousands across the country pause to recognize Kiki, his sacrifice, and the importance of drug abuse prevention. In honor of Kiki and drug abuse prevention, we encourage you to take the Red Ribbon Pledge to live a drug-free life. Visit www.redribbon.org slash pledge. Thank you. I'm Henry Lozano, friend of Kiki and Mika Camarena. This is a reminder to think ahead for Red Ribbon Week and check out the daily dress-up days. Wednesday, buddy up against drugs, and twin with your friends. Hey Aiden, nice camo. Thanks, you too. Picture retakes are tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 1.25 p.m. in the auditorium. If you did not have your picture taken for the yearbook, or if you just need a retake, plan on attending. Business Professionals of America is having a meeting Thursday, November 2nd, before school in Mr. Brown's room, 218. If you are still interested in joining BPA, please come to a meeting for more information. Now for the pledges and a moment of silence. Will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for the moment of silence. Don't forget, it's a great, great day, day to be a, a porcupine. porcupine.